this is hope i don't really come this side much i don't show you guys everything around here this is also like a little jungle over here i've got about six dogs here she just quickly came to say hi this little one <laughs> she always stays this side diego already waiting for his food she's always over here if you find paws on the cars that is from her she's always in the garage <laughs> i'm gonna be feeding them a little early today i'm gonna go to a friend of mine just to go visit him a little bit and yeah so i'm quickly gonna feed them all these little ones just fed them inside they all ate and the little ones have already started to use the cat i can never remember that word <laughs> i'll remember it in a second well they use that and they always well help me out with not messing in the house <laughs> that is what that is for vegetarian cat is just here i actually want to take him outside quickly and give him a little piece of meat and let's see if he eats this chicken this is the most beautiful chicken that you can find in the world went to a butcher friend of mine the other day and he had this and he said that he defrosted a little bit and he just wanted me to take it for the tigers so let's see if they if he will eat it ah He's scared of the chicken. <laughs> so let me try and find another small piece over here. I'm gonna throw it to him there. They're gonna eat it, but I want you to see how vegetarian cat absolutely won't eat any meat. Look at that, he avoids it totally. He just will not do it. So yep ready to feed the tigers enzo is actually sleeping so much these days i can't believe it he's always busy sleeping so let's see if he gets up when i start throwing meat at him enzo come see him. he's so lazy look at that watching them watching me with it i'm gonna try and throw this one right there and diego's gonna take it enzo realizes that he's gonna lose if he doesn't get up a little earlier <laughs> right let's do this whole bucket of chicken here for diego over there Enzo again so yesterday I gave him only two and a half kilograms each one packet that was five kilogram packets and then I thought that was going to be enough because they are on a little diet and then Diego just looked at me with those big eyes and I decided oh you know what let's just give him another packet so they ate again and it's almost like they try and control you from that side of the fence the things they think about it's almost like you pick it up so yeah i think that tigers can i don't want to say control but it's almost like they can control someone or something on the other side they can make you want to put your hand in there and that would not be a good thing so yeah it's a it's almost like you connect with these animals on a different level because i mean they don't speak but how do they communicate 
all animals there is some kind of communication going on with them and you can't see it and you can't hear it but you can feel it it gets delivered the message comes through so you have to be careful when you approach an animal you have to be careful what you think about and you have to be careful of what you subconsciously think about so it's not always easy to hide away the things you're not trying to think about if that makes any sense you have to keep in mind that that communication method is running in the background well how can I say that I can't prove it but if you've ever received a thought from someone and you got it that could not have been coincidence so I don't think we rely on that sense but it does exist and I've picked it up over the years with the tigers we do think about things and then it rings a little bell by them so always keep that in mind when you are close to an animal they don't speak but they do communicate you will be able to pick up on that thought and they might not have all the words that you no, so the language is a bit different and yeah these tigers just keep on eating I can throw this meat as quickly as I want they will just gulp it down but yeah I think there is definitely a communication between animals that we are not able to hear see or even feel unless you can tune into that frequency and you can pick it up and not only pick it up you have to understand it and that takes a bit of time well I won't say they get born and immediately understands everything but yesterday I had a rat and I made a video and I post I'm gonna I'm busy posting it at the moment you will see it it's a long video, longest one I've ever made, but I saw when I started communicating with the tigers how the rat got that fright. Every time I made the <laughs> sound, I f as I held that cage with the rat in it, that rat would jump as he's hearing exactly on that moment that sound and that told me that he heard that before now that's not a mistake that you can make you can always feel that you always feel that and you will know immediately that it is there there's no way you can confuse yourself with that. So, you're going to have to take my word on it. Or, if you ever get a rat and a tiger in the same place, you can, and you know how to shove like a tiger, you will be able to do it. And you will see that. So, I'm concentrating on those kinds of things lately things that you don't really know or are able to just research and find it these are not things that you can research and find but we are able to experience it and when we do we are able to record it and I think it's a good thing for people to know these things because everything comes together at some point and then we will be able to understand so much more 
So, communication is something that I don't really think is necessary. Now that is the worst thing anybody can ever say. Why would I say that? Because when you're communicating, you are either telling someone how something is, or you are explaining something to them, or you are saying sorry. That's all communication is actually there for. So, communication to me is something that is used between beings that do not know everything. Because if you knew everything, and the next person knew everything, why would you need to communicate? Well, that's a weird thing to say. Would someone that knows everything just stay absolutely quiet then? And never speak? And never answer any question? Hmm. Well, think about it. And tell me what you're thinking. Hi guys, thanks for watching. And have a good day.